Hello there. Today we are discussing decoding of our dog's behavior. I'm sure you are very aware that your dog is a very unique individual. And actually there are no two dogs that are truly alike. However, dogs being dogs, they do have their behavior, behaviors and mannerisms that can be quite odd to look at. Let's go one by one. I collected a few of examples which some people find quite mind-boggling. Let's start with butt sniffing. Well, people shake hands and dogs are sniffing butt. Why is that so? Because at the butt there are inner glands, two glands that emit quite a strong smell. And this smell is much more than just a smell. It is pretty much like a business card for dogs. So the greeting dog sniffing the butt of another dog will find out about the sex, about the temperament even, and about being nice or not so nice, a nice person, easy going personality of the other dog. Now that's about butt sniffing, so let's not be disgusted about it, it's just the dog's handshake, so to speak. The next one would be eating poop. Well, we need probably a good stomach to talk about that, but eating poop can be actually an indicator that your dog doesn't get enough protein. Many times cat poop still contains a lot of undigested protein, and that's why dogs who don't get enough protein or can't digest enough protein are actually eating cat poop, and some of them eat, it, eat their own poop, which is either due to the same reasons that they don't have enough protein or because they have been kept in cages for a very long time and that was the only thing that kept them entertained or even filled up. That can be pet shop puppies, for example. Another quite disgusting habit can be rolling in roadkill. And as, as, as disgusting as it sounds for human beings, it is actually just for the dog to mask his or her own scent, to make it much easier for for a predator to hunt and, and, and then finally kill his prey. Our number four odd behavior would be digging surfaces. I am sure you have seen dogs that are digging, be it mud, be it sand, be it their own bed. Now why would a dog do that? Well firstly, it's a natural behavior to keep cool or in colder climates to keep warm. And for pregnant mothers, it is important to hide their puppies in a, in a dark up, up surface. Number five would be scooting. Now scooting sounds fun, but it's not always fun for the dog. Scooting, I'm sure you have seen sitting your dog while walking with the front legs across your carpet or across grass. Now why would a dog do that? It's usually because there is an itch on the bum. And the itch on the bum comes either because something is still hanging there or there is, might be even an inflammation in there. The inner glands might be inflamed, warm eggs might inflame the gastrointestinal tract. So if your dog is scooting, it's not always fun only. You might want to have a second look or even bring your dog to the bed. Number six is humping. A very unbeloved thing for people, but a lot of fun, it seems, for mainly male dogs, but also some female dogs. Now, humping is like a stress reliever, not always a welcome one if we wear our best pants. But having said that, a stress reliever, is, it is mainly for dogs that are not castrated and not spayed, and for very dominant dogs. So if your dog is humping, don't be too disgusted, but also know your dog obviously needs some stress relief. Number seven would be herding. Herding dogs are falling into categories that have been bred for a long time to do work, and that is usually herding either sheep or herding cows, any kind of livestock that can be herded. Herding dogs can do that behavior also with people, with groups of people, with cats, with other dogs, and that can be quite annoying. It's a bit nipping on the heels. Now, why would a dog do that? To, to animals that are not livestock. These dogs usually have very high levels of energy and if these dogs are bored or under exercise then they are going to do that. So what's the remedy for that? Herding dogs will hurt if they have nothing else to do. If you start to exercise more and give your dog more things to think about, challenge your dog with dog games, dog puzzles, then you will get a good remedy for your dog. Number eight is tail chasing. And tail chasing might look like a really fun entertainment, entertaining activity for a puppy. In a puppy, it might be just that. But if an adult dog is still doing tail chasing or starts doing tail chasing, then I might think you will be better off bringing your dog to the vet. Tail chasing can be caused by nerve problems, by gastrointestinal problems. The dog wants to check the back of his or the back of his backside of his his uh, body his or her body so make sure you see your vet if your dog is tail chasing the last but not the least one is drooling and uh, dogs that are drooling well they can have perfectly natural reasons for it 
most brachycephalic dogs, dogs with short snouts, are drooling much more easily than those with the normal long snouts, especially when there is a nice smell and when they are hungry. That would be normal drooling. Drooling can be also a pro um, an indicator for a problem, be it teeth problem, stomatitis, meaning uh, inflammation in the mouth, or even poisoning or other gastrointestinal upset. So if your dog is suddenly drooling excessively, it is a good idea to bring your dog and have him or her checked out by your veterinarian. Having spoken about the nine mind-boggling habits that dogs can have, our dogs are programmed as still as wild animals and having said that, they are our pets but we shall never forget, we need to give them outlets to do what's their nature dictating them to do. Thank you.